Muito obrigado, José. Muito obrigado a todos. Obrigado. A todos. Um beijo grande. So I started the day hunting for fuel. Since I got to Angola, I've spent a fortune buying fuel. Most of the villages don't have filling stations and you can ride for hundreds of kilometers without spotting one filling station. At this time, I didn't know my bike had a problem, so I kept buying more fuel and thinking it was getting exhausted so quickly because I was buying it by the roadside. Today, I'm doing the trip from Malanche to Luanda. I've been in Angola for a few days and the journey from the border to the capital city is a very long one. I am rushing to the capital city because I have to go to the Congo embassy. I've tried to get the visa but was told I have to go to the embassy in person and the sooner I go, the sooner my visa for the next country will be ready. I speak English. I oh, speak English. Uh, passport. Now time that they are passport. Passport. I can't pack here. In Angola, there are several checkpoints where you actually have to get down, give them your passport so they can take down the details. It's nothing like the checkpoints in other countries have been where they ask you questions and let you go. Here, they take down all the information on your passport before letting you go. I wasn't sure I understood this Portuguese, so I told him to type it to the phone because what he was saying seemed different from what I was saying. It almost feels like my motorcycle is taking more fuel than usual since I got to Angola. It's just weird because the amount I spend buying fuel every time since I got to Angola is ridiculous compared to the amount I've been spending on fuel. I've only I've done I've only done three hours today and I filled up my fuel tank before I left. I bought six liters again, and this is me filling it up again. And somehow I still feel like it's not going to be enough. I only have three more hours to go. It's a six-hour ride. Before leaving this morning, I already made inquiries about the road and the bikers in Luanda told me the road is good. Mm -hmm. 
Unlike the road from the border to Saarimo that is mostly off-road because everywhere is being constructed, the ride to Luanda is much better. However, this is Angola. No matter how nice the road is, you will always get to a point where there is a diversion to go off-road because the road is being fixed. Weird seemed to be happening with the bike, so I stopped to check. My chain has come up. I've been doing a lot of off-roading in Angola, and even though I tightened and cleaned the chain before leaving the Zambian border, the crazy roads I've been plying in Angola must have done a number on the chain. Oh my god, how? A delay I don't need. I don't need this delay at all. In English, no, no, so bad, much. They told me there was a nearby mechanic, so we took the bike there. It didn't take long to get the bike fixed, and before I knew it, I was back on the road. time i'd exhausted my fuel again and i was looking for somewhere to buy fuel in bottles i still wasn't sure if there was a problem with the bike and i couldn't fix it in these remote places i had to get to luanda before getting it checked but i knew there was something wrong with the bike because the fuel consumption was just too much As I got closer to Luanda, there were more filling stations, but most of them had lots of bikes and cars waiting to buy fuel, and I was too tired to join the queue, so I kept leaving. When I got some fuel here, my nose could breathe better, but my pocket was screaming for help because it was suffocating. Not only is fuel very expensive in Angola, the consumption of the bike was also killing me. When I entered Luanda, I knew I had entered the city because cities always have a way of announcing themselves. Luanda is beautiful and clean, totally unlike all the roads I've used getting here. I've been corresponding with a biker here in Luanda and I'll be going straight to his workshop. Yeah. So you where will you be? Okay, you walk. Yeah, you come. What's your name? 
Go there by there. What? Go a by there on Instagram. Go a by there. A by there. Okay, and the next day. G D A I G D. G D E B A I D D. Okay. From Bo A by there. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So here is how far I have come on my solo ride from Kenya to Nigeria. In the evening, the president of the Amigos de Picada Club sent the vice president to pick me up at my hotel with his bike to take me to the general clubhouse. Everyone was there waiting to welcome me. While the music was playing and everyone was having fun, they told me I had to go to the front. The vice president spoke Portuguese to everyone while Uncle George translated to me in English. Uh, Oh my god. Don't look at me. No, 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 don't Thank you so much. So I've met a few people. Silencio. Hey, hey. Hey. I've met a few people already. I met the president before. Uh, I control met. president Tant. It is just amazing how the community of bikers help me everywhere I go to. Está impressionada como é que foi recebida pelos bikers? Né? It's like Aqui. a family everywhere. É como uma família em todo lado. It's a family that are not my blood, but I know I have them everywhere. É uma... When I started this trip, I started at 1900 kilometers as a lifetime kilometers for biking. Quanto é? 1900. 1100. Okay. I didn't know how to make it. I just wanted to start. Now I'm almost at 10,000 kilometers of lifetime of riding. And the experiences have Ela vai fazer 10 mil quilômetros. It's crazy. Yeah. If I didn't get help from bikers in different countries, there are so many things I wouldn't have been able to do by myself. Thank you so much for everything. It's, it's great to be here. Angola has been so nice to me. I don't even understand the language and they've been so kind. Like it's not about language, okay. <laughs> Ela disse obrigado por tudo, como obrigado. nigeriana, por ter vindo da Nigéria. Muito obrigado, eu sei. Muito obrigado, obrigado a todos. Obrigado, obrigado. A todos. Hey baby, you are you are welcome. You are welcome.